Yo what's up guys it's hybrid here and welcome back to another tutorial now this is something new on my channel and what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is how to do sort of basic intro making in Adobe After Effects of 2D of course and uh, what I'm going to show you is just a bunch of effects and simulations and stuff that you can do to certain objects and shapes that will make them look look cooler as the tra as like a transition sort of and um, yeah so what we're gonna do is just jump right into it here so I'm going first thing you're gonna do is when you open up After Effects you're gonna go to composition new composition and you're gonna change the background color to whatever you want I have it at a nice gray if you want copy down the color code 202020 and frame rate uh, 29 you can have it higher if you want but just so you know that will increase the file size and you're gonna change the duration to 10 seconds already have it all set here and under presets you have tons of different options I like to keep it on 720 just because it's you know HD nice aspect ratio and it's good for YouTube so now once all that's set just hit OK and you will see this up here so I'm just gonna delete my previous compositions I actually recorded this once before but I uh, didn't have the volume turned on so it didn't end up recording my voice but uh, anyways uh, what we are gonna do now is go to the Eclipse marquee to Eclipse tool and we're gonna click and drag out just to about there go to move tool and just move it into the center here now if you guys want to bring up the rulers you can just press control R or command R and it will bring up the rulers you can move them do whatever you want with them but I don't really need them so I'll just hide those again and what I'm gonna show you guys is some cool transitions so under your effects and presets tab you're gonna scroll down you'll see all these folders Just scroll down to the second last one and you'll see transitions now another thing you can do is also under effects and presets search CC now anything with CC in it will basically edit your object and it will do, have an effect for it so for any for example I'll just grab a random one here so in here ball action is pretty cool so I just clicked it dragged it onto here and just like that now this is not one that I would recommend using for a 2d intro it's doesn't it's it's a really cool effect but I think it's more of something you'd use in editing but um anyways so just delete that by just hitting delete and what we're gonna do is go down to just delete that. I'm gonna go down to transitions, and you're gonna go to radial wipe, and just drag that on. Now this is a really cool effect that you'll see in a lot of 2D intros. And what it does, it's sort of like a clock effect, as you can see here. And you can change it to clockwise, counterclockwise. You can change the effect here under wipe, and you can also change it to both, so it does both of them at the same time is pretty cool but I'll just keep it on clockwise so in order to keyframe an effect what you're going to do is under transition completion you're gonna have it on 100 so it's the circles gone and you're gonna hit this stopwatch anything with a stopwatch means that it can be editable and you can keyframe it so we'll just hit the stopwatch here and we're going to move on our timeline what that will automatically do is put a keyframe here on the timeline so if I just click here and hit E, you can see radial wipe and it has a keyframe. So what we're gonna do is move it forward to about not one second, just before one second. You can see a keyframe there. And we are going to put this to zero. So now, as you can see, if I just move this across, the keyframes do everything for me and it has the effect of the circle coming in. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you another really cool effect and you're going to scroll up here and go to grid wipe so just drag that on and it will show up here in your effects and uh, effect controls tab and now really quick if you guys don't have effects and presets just go to window effects and presets and if you don't have effects if you do not have effect controls it should show up but if you don't just go to window effect controls and you're good so what we're gonna do now is right when this comes out we're going to about one second and this grid wipe, grid wipe under completion we're gonna check that and we're gonna move it to about 
just before two seconds and this is a really cool effect it sort of like I actually use this in my uh, I use this in my series daily intro so could just move that forward and it has a really cool like grid effect now reverse what reverse does is it makes it makes the blue lines as if I reverse it now it has the gray lines now you can control the size and how many uh, grid there how many grids or tiles you could say there is by just going to tiles and moving that up for more down for less all right and you can go to border also and change the border as you can if you can kind of see it there right here it kind of gets thinner and thicker as I change the border but what we're gonna do is put tiles to about there 14 13.8 and we're going to put it to full or sorry we're going to change it to zero so as you can see here if I play this now the keyframing will have that and then it will disappear so you know that's just some basic effects like I said guys if you go here and type in CC anything that says CC in front of it will edit your object so we'll just delete these anything with CC will edit your object um, but what I like to use mainly for intros is the transitions what you guys can do is come in here with the transitions and just you know put random ones on and see what you like so what I'm also going to show you guys is if you go to shape and press S and you bring up your scale just put this to zero what we're gonna do is press the stopwatch put this to zero so it's gone and we're gonna go forward to about one second and put this to how big however big you want your circle to be so now you have that and then what we're gonna do is this is sort of like blending of the transitions we'll go to the radial radial scale wipe like I showed you guys and we'll put that here so it comes up and we'll move it to about there press the keyframe go to about to about two seconds put it to full I guess this is also another cool effect it kind of makes this makes the circle whoosh so I'll put it to there and now if I play this comes up and then it explodes out so you know these are they're all really cool effects guys everything does something different um, you know there's also other stuff over here like this one here which is pretty cool so if I just hit scale and just uncheck that it will undo the keyframes and hit radio scale delete that another cool is burning film which you can actually adjust and it kind of gives it like a really high exposure and it makes it look kind of like it's burnt you can edit that there's tons of cool stuff in here guys and um, what you can also do is go down to if you just close that open it and go under transform you have tons of different options so you can change the opacity here and again guys that has a stopwatch so you you can also make it editable by simply just clicking on it changing the opacity to zero moving it over here changing it to 100 and you'll have the opacity change there just uncheck that you've got rotation which works really nicely with squares you've also got scale which I showed you how to use the position it just changes it like that as well as anchor points which is sort of like position except it just changes that not the anchor point okay so just move it back control Z just to move back and let's see how we are for time alright guys so what I want you guys to do is if you have any questions about effects that you can do in Adobe After Effects or future tutorials that you want to see from me simply just put it in the comment section below I will answer you if you comment um, thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to give it a like if it helped you and that is my take on uh, basic intro making I will be doing some um, intro templates give away some intro templates and uh, yeah guys so thanks for watching and uh, yeah have a nice day peace